So, I've been dreading to do this video. <clears throat> but as my wife would say, delayed obedience is the same as disobedience. I admire each of you gentlemen for what you bring to the body. I've sown into each of your ministries. Promoted your ministries. Um, and what I realize is that you are all different. There's no competition in this ministry. There's no competition in the body. But what I've been seeing lately is we just been hating on each other. It's been a bash. And if we put you men together collectively, y'all have millions and millions of people watching y'all. What I find to be interesting is y'all have the same people watching each and one of you. Some people come to you because you really have a word for them. Others come because they like the drama. It's become worse than the real housewives of Atlanta, the real housewives of basketball, baseball. This is is why should the world turn from their wickedness when we're doing just the same? Fighting Saying this person is this, that person is that. Every time we turn on, every time I turn around lately, it's been this one is bashing that one, this one is bashing that one. And the first thing you'll tell me is what well, Paul said, you need to call it out. But what did our father say? What did Jesus say? If you have a problem with your with your brother pull him to the side if you can't win him over then go get one or two witnesses try to win your brother over don't call nine YouTube cause lately y'all been dialing nine YouTube And you've been bashing your brother. It's almost like instead of scratching the itch, you're taking a hammer and you're bashing your hand with a hammer. We are all one body. And to my brother Marcus, my brother, I love you. I've supported you every time you came to Atlanta. I, Even when I had our, me and my wife had our radio show, I, you were like the headliner when it came to the music because you gave me the permission to play it like I love you my brother but you have been calling for unity for like over a year stay in that lane stay in the lane of showing things of inside of the world if you have a art with another pastor Reach out to that pastor. Don't reach out to non-YouTube. We've become too divided. We have bigger fish to fry than what Michael Todd did at his Easter Sunday. They're making laws about to persecute Christians. <laughs> They're making laws... To come against the church. They're making laws. <laughs> to come against our businesses. For those who are pastors and business owners like myself. We got bigger fish to fry. Then oh I think his thing was demonic. Oh did you see what Alan Parr did. Then Alan Parr come back. Oh did you hear what Marcus Rogers did. And then now you get Alex and Isaiah all in the mix. 
Oh, Isaiah, you, you did. Man, listen. Stop it. Did we ever take the time to pray and say, Lord, did you lead him to do that? Lord, did you lead Marcus Rogers? Because Marcus, I remember when you was under heavy fire. Especially during the Trump election. Bro, I did two videos in support of you. When people said, oh, he said this. And I had to go back and play the videos and say, no, that is not what he said. My wife's ministry is Deep in deliverance and inner healing. So when people used to come at Isaiah, you be like, no, 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 don't do that. When people came at you, Marcus, no, 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 don't do that. When people came at even Alan Parr, he's like, no, 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 don't do that. And and listen. I don't agree with y'all all the time. I don't always agree with Isaiah. I don't always agree with you, Marcus. I don't always agree with Alan. I don't always agree with Pagandi. I don't. I don't. But we don't disagree on heaven and hell issues, as you would say, Marcus. So if a man decide to run racket in his church, then that's his business. That's between him and God. How about you go back and take a page from your own book? Like I used to tell people. You used to say all the time, pray for everybody. None of us are perfect. And lately, we've been spreading so much hate. Imagine if God stopped giving us mercy. Imagine the mercy that we be looking for. Imagine if God gave us how we always come on and dial nine YouTube. We got to stop. We got bigger fish to fry. We got an enemy that is planting more tears than a little bit. That is trying to destroy us all over the globe. If this was a chess piece, this was a chess game. Michael Todd's Sunday service would not even be a pun on the game. He wouldn't even be on the board. That Sunday service wouldn't be on the board. Half the stuff that y'all complaining about wouldn't even be on the chessboard. Because there are bigger puns than water and somebody recreating the Grammys, as you say. Listen, brothers, I love y'all, man. I still I love each and one of y'all. I still sow into y'all ministries. You know, I'm not doing this for no clout. I'm not trying to get no views. Because like I told people before, if I was trying to get views, I wouldn't be preaching the gospel. Trust me, I know plenty of ways to get views. But I'm only saying this because I love y'all. Y'all have been teachers to me. Y'all have been inspiration to me. Y'all have. When I didn't want to do the ministry, just watching y'all, y'all have led me to do what God has called me to do. So I need for y'all to just stop. Stop. Stop bashing each other. Stop going. Stop making targets out of Todd. Stop making targets out of Isaiah. Stop making targets out of Marcus and just pray for one another. Just pray for one another because the world is looking at us like housewives of Atlanta that we fight in. And if they're looking at people who already have a platform, what do they say about those who are coming in and their platform is starting to grow and rise? What do they say when they see any preacher, any pastor, any evangelist? Oh, yeah. 
Because y'all have the stage, y'all set the tone for everybody else. And I don't want to see God take your platform because of the foolishness. I love y'all platforms. I love y'all teachings. Whether y'all agree with each other or not, that's that's something different. We not all going to agree. Paul and Peter didn't agree on everything. And that is great. We're not here to we're not here to we're here to preach the gospel. We're here to we're here to let people know Jesus is coming back. And I'm saying this because I care about your souls and I care about the souls of the people that watch you. That follow you. That love you, that admire you. That come to you for truth. So let's keep preaching the truth. Let's keep preaching the kingdom. Now let's leave all this foolishness. I love you, brothers. I'm Pastor A out here in McDonough, Georgia. Visionary house of prayer and praise. Me and my wife love each and every one of y'all. Again, I'll just keep y'all in prayer because that's pretty much all I really got on it. I'm out.